One of the tools that you have available in Google Slides is publishing to the web, and I want to show you how that can be handy. If I come over here to File, and I click Publish to Web, what's going to happen is I have a new box that's opened up, and I decide how often I want this to advance. By default, it's three seconds. Uh, here are some other ones you have to choose from, but I'm also going to show you a way to change that to maybe a number that's more manageable for you. One of the things I would recommend is I like to start mine as soon as the player loads. And if you want to loop it, use the restart button here and it will loop through. Um, this is great if you're doing like a video you want running at parent-teacher conferences or an open house um, so it can continue to run through so parents can kind of see it as they're walking through. So once you've made those three choices, I'm going to go ahead and hit publish. It's going to ask me if I'm sure, so I click OK. And I chose link. Yes, you can embed it into different websites and things like that. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and copy, which is control C, my link. I am now going to go out to a new tab and I'm going to hit control V to paste it in. Now, here's what I want to show you. 3,000, this number at the end, actually refers to three seconds. So every three seconds, my slides right now are set to change but maybe I want to set it to half a second for them to move faster so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to 500 on this if I wanted to go to five full seconds I would go to 5,000 so you can kind of play around a little bit with the numbers to kind of get your changes one of the activities that you're going to do is some stop motion animation and you're going to want this number to be fairly low like around 50 or 100 and that's why i'm showing you this trick so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and hit enter now that i've pasted that in you're going to see every half second my slides are going through and my slides are also then looping now to unpublish because right now this is technically a published website i go back and what I'm going to do here is if I click at the bottom where it says publish contents and setting, I'm going to hit stop publishing. Are you sure? Yes. And so now no longer is that available or is it running? I can always come back in and republish if I choose to. But publish to the web is great uh, when it comes to creating stop motion animation. It's also great if you're putting things out there that you just like to run and loop for people to be able to watch.